Hi, this is Paul from TradeTheFifth.com and this is my update for my five hot stocks that I'm trading for 2019 for Friday the 19th of April. So the UMP trade that we've had on hit the target after earnings yesterday. Uh, so profit taken in the target zone. Um, good trade adds quite a lot of profit now to um, these five hot stocks that we've been trading. So as we can see now on the spreadsheet, we have 1,290% profit times risk. Remember our target's around about 2,500 for the year. Uh, this is an experiment to show part-time swing traders that just picking five strong growth stocks using our swing trading strategy from Trade the Fifth, you are gonna make decent profits on your pension fund, your savings, things like that. So, so far, so good. We've had one loser on UMP. UMP has been our most traded stock so far. We've had a 260% win, 160% win, and uh, uh, the, the only loss on UMP, but we're trading it quite a lot. Uh, we still got two trades open on Adobe and PTC. So let's have a look at everything else. So UMP's done, done now. We've had three trades on there, two wins, two losers. We're just gonna wait to see what happens now and look for the trading opportunities for the rest of the year. So PTC is still open. Remember, we're trading this off the weekly. So let's go to the weekly time frame here. So we haven't done too bad this week, really. The, the markets have been very mixed. We have got earnings here. We're looking to carry this through earnings um, and uh, get a lift through this resistance level, really. $100 is, is the big resistance at this moment in time remember this is a longer term swing on the weekly time frame even if we have bad earnings and come back to test the cloud we're still looking ultimately this year to hit that fifth wave target zone the, if it does pull back on earnings it could represent another opportunity to get in another shorter term swing as well so adobe is next remember this one's open as well so let's go to the daily time frame Okay, so we are risk-free on this swing trade. We've got, uh, we're about, we've locked in about 10% uh, profit times risk here. Remember the stop loss is all the way down at 25419. Now this is a black box breakout signal. Uh, it's still looking good, it's just running out of juice a little bit. It did reject those lows yesterday, but on lower volume. It would have been great to get a, a green candle there. So a gray candle is an up candle, remember, but on, but lower volume. But what happened was we formed that bullish harami with this hammerhead with the previous day's big bearish uh, candle. So if we get today on Friday the 19th a move up, a higher high and a higher low, we're confirming this rejection and looking for a further move up there. So the idea is now to let this, if this support level holds and we start to move away, we'll adjust the trading stop to lock in profits just underneath this rejection here. Early days yet though, let's see what it does at the end of this week and into next week. Uh, so Costco, we've had one big win, 300%. Remember we entered all the way down here. This is still going strong. It is running out of juice a little bit at these all time highs. We are looking for a pullback. Remember, once we get a pullback, we'll look for a shorter time frame swing. Even if it's on a 60 minute time frame or a 240, We'll just keep an eye on this one and be patient. That's the thing. We've chosen five hot growth stocks right at the beginning of the year, and we just have to be patient and allow these setups to uh, come to fruition. Into again, we've had the big move on that. Remember, we entered all the way down here. We've traded the big move. Now we've pulled back. This is very interesting right now in that we are testing the lower bound of our channel. Our channel is from the weekly. Uh, so we'll just uh, adjust that again. Okay, so let's just adjust this channel again now because I think it's broken out. I'm gonna to go to the weekly. We're gonna look at this parabolic move that we've had recently and we've traded this, we're good on this. Now the weekly time frame is shown as that wave three, but I think we really need to have a look how this channel has formed 
during there and I think this is where we are right now let's zoom in a little bit so we can understand what we're doing with these channels and then we'll go down to the daily to confirm so what I want is I want uh, you know one two three touches on the upper bound we've got a really strong center line here support all the way up and then recent resistance here and then we've just broke out of this channel so let's go down to the daily now to see what's happening here so now we can see we have broken out of that channel and this you know these channels are only good as when we draw them now we've got, got to adjust uh, but this is a really good we look on the daily we've got a touch there we're going to touch here this is pretty good the center line is the most important thing here look at that support coming up and resistance here and here we can slightly adjust it uh, on the daily now just to get it more accurate and this is where we are one two touches on the top we've got loads of touches on this center line and now we broke out the channel so we've broken out the channel on the daily we've got to look now for this our EMA cloud now to hold a support and we're looking for a, a move up we're not ready this week if we do get a new signal and that could be on a uh, a four hour time frame for example we can see here uh, that we're actually potentially on a way for pullback we haven't pulled back deep enough yet because we just seem to be stuck in this range so but if it does come down and test this sort of level into our green amber or red zones here we could get an, a good fifth wave trade on an intraday time frame so let's have a keep keep a close eye on that keep an eye on this uh, journal for our hot stocks for 2019 because i will post new trading ideas as they come on these five hot stocks for 2019 so have a great trading day great easter weekend speak to you all soon